In this video we're going to cut the tabs off the airframe and sand the airframe back ready for laminating. Here we use a standard hacksaw blade as can be seen in the freeze frame for sawing away the tabs. The hacksaw blade removes the foam as it cuts whereas a knife tends to spread the, the foam apart which means that it gets locked in the foam as you're going along. Once we've cut most of the foam away with a hacksaw blade, we can then use our knife to make a fine cut at the end. We can almost get it perfect off the knife, so there is very little sanding required at these points. Here I've used a small flat piece of balsa to wrap the sandpaper around to sand the plane surfaces flat. It's preferential to use the flat tool wrapped in the sandpaper, otherwise you tend to rub finger marks into the plane chassis. I use the palm of my hand to sand surfaces that are curved in two dimensions. Here I'm showing my fingers, if I did sand with my fingers, which would rub finger marks into the plane, as I mentioned before. It's really better to use the palm of your hand or all your fingers flat. Then you can knock back all the ridges in the foam. The lowest part of the ridges are where the surface of the plane was actually designed in the CAD CAM package. So once you've sanded away all the ridges, you're at the designed surface point. If you sand any further, you'll be creating a new shape altogether that's not part of the design. Here we see the computer generated model of the plane. At the hinge point, so I've cut away the plane and the hinges a little bit so that the hinge itself runs in a dead straight line. When we're sanding the hinge points, we want to sand the main surface of the body first with our flat block in the sandpaper, as you can see here. And then we want to come back later and sand the, the cutaways at the hinges with your thumb or forefinger. When you look along the hinge lines at the end, you should see a dead straight line for the hinges themselves.